internet it's me Holly how are you guys doing today I am awesome so September favorites I know I say it every month but truly this month seems to have gone quicker than all of the previous months that previous months tongue twister uh, that I've been doing favorites this just like it was over. I'd really like to say that I have a lot of favorites, but I don't. And what do we got here? I've got six items that I want to talk about for this month, and three are not even makeup products. You know what, though? I mean, when we talk about, like, favorites videos for the month, you know, when you sit down and you think about things, like, a lot of non-makeup products pop into my head when I think about favorites because if I found something that month and I used the hell out of it, I want to talk about it. So while some of these things aren't exactly makeup items, uh, I guess one's technically a fashion item, uh, the other two are just really cute and fun, so just bear with me uh, and let me ramble a little bit about these things. And yes, um, I literally am sitting here with my feet folded, like I'm just like sitting here like I'm girl gabbing with a friend. So uh, yeah, pull yourself up a coffee or some apple cider and chat with me. And let me know in the comments what some of your favorites have been for this past month. And so yeah, if you want to hear about my favorites for the month of September, then stick around because that's what we're about to do. Okay, so I feel like we should talk about the non-beauty products first and just kind of get them out of the way. I will talk about the weirdest one first. So I am obsessed with these lights. So basically, I just want to know what designer decided to come up with a portable light that's a light switch. It's an LED light, so it is like, hello, like blinding, blinding light. So you're getting a lot of light from this puppy. And like I said, it's a portable light that turns on and off like a light switch. Yes, please. That's adorable. It's an LED light, so it gives a lot of light. And I don't even have the tag off of this one yet because I bought like four of them. Anyway, so it's got Velcro on the back, so you can Velcro it onto a wall like in a closet or something. It also has magnets, so you could use it on the fridge. It had the batteries in it and everything. Like I'm putting these in all my closets. Like I'm absolutely just madly in love with these. These I got at Walgreens. They are $5.99 or two for 10. I'm not sure if you can get them anywhere else. I will look it up and see if maybe I can find an Amazon. Amazon link or something but yeah I got these at Walgreens and these are just like good multi-purpose for pretty much anywhere you need a light. The next item on my list is a mug and it's kind of too big for a coffee mug but I've been using it for a coffee mug anyways and that is my treat yourself mug. If any of you watch Parks and Recreations, the TV show, you will get the joke. It is a few scenes during the whole run of Parks and Recs. They do these treat yourself scenes and it's just really funny and it's my all-time favorite scenes from the show and me and my husband go around all the time going treat yourself, treat yourself. So when I saw this mug, even my husband was like, we have too many mugs, but that mug is you. So, and I got this mug at Walmart. I'm not even sure the price on these, but they weren't very much. They were like five or six dollars. And even if you don't love the show, I think this is just like a pretty popular like saying right now. But yeah, I, I love this from Parks and Recreations. So, yeah. And next favorite on the list is a fashion item. I have been wearing the hell out of these. Okay, so check it, but wait for it. Hello! <laughs> so yeah, pretty much I have been wearing these everywhere. I'm like really sad that it's going to be winter soon and these won't be appropriate to wear everywhere. Let me just tell you, I, I'm just 
madly in love with these. Uh, I really built up quite a collection of sunglasses this year, and by a lot, I mean like six or seven pairs. I've really gotten into sunglasses this summer, but it's kind of late to do a sunglasses video. So I think in the spring or the summer, I'm going to make a video next year on my on my sunglass collection. And I think it'll be fun because I got some really different and unique ones, uh, similar to this, but you know, different. Uh, but yeah, I think it'll be really fun, but I'm gonna aim to do that more next spring. But I am obsessed with these. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and these were about $6, I think, on Amazon. They did come from China, so it took a little longer to ship, uh, but they're really, like, really decent quality for the price, and they, I'm just, I just, I can't. I'm, I just, I love these. I'm just, mm. probably out of everything, this is, like, my absolute all-time favorite item for this month, so... Just wondering if I should just leave these on for the rest of the video because they're super cute so you know what that's what we're gonna do and my next favorite is a body spray this is fancy love by Jessica Simpson so I got this at Walgreens. This was like I think $7.99 anyway I kept smelling a co-worker not like smelling a co-worker but she smelled really good and I kept asking like what is that smell it is amazing and you know like sometimes things don't smell the same on you as they do on someone else and then you get it and then you're like super disappointed no no this stuff is absolutely fabulous and I wasn't expecting that for a celebrity uh, perfume and obviously these are body sprays so they don't quite last as long I think as a perfume but I am so in love with this and it smells on her all day too like I could be with her all shift and she's I can still smell it at the end of the day so this stuff stays on for a pretty long time for body spray and like I said it's absolutely amazing as soon as she told me what it was I ran right out and found it and bought it it's absolutely fabulous and I love it I don't think I really have to elaborate more on that because it's body spray but yeah definitely definitely a favorite this month Okay, so we are down to my last two, and they are both beauty products. So the first one I want to talk about is 28 Remedy Skincare Program. This is their, is it Knots or Notes is the company? Balancing Toner. So we got that. So normally, um, I got this in my Ipsy, and normally I'm a little iffy to try stuff like this because certain things just do not agree with my skin. They break me out like crazy, uh, and I probably got this a few months ago, and it just kind of sat here. I finally got around to trying this this last month, and oh my goodness. Uh, my face looks so much clearer in the morning with this. I am madly in love with it. Uh, whatever's in here doesn't aggravate my skin. And like I said, it looks really, really clearer in the mornings versus, you know, when I put it on at night. And it's just overall just a fabulous toner. And it's not like a liquid toner, like what you would think of a toner. It's kind of like this gel toner, kind of like a gel consistency. So it's a lot different from what I think in my head a toner should be. Because normally when you say toner, I think liquid, but like, you know, like liquid liquid, but this is like a gel. So it's kind of different, but yeah, I am madly in love with this. I'm not sure the price on this. I will definitely put this in the link in the description because like I said, this was a sample in one of my Ipsy bags this year. I think a couple of months ago I got it. So, but yeah, fabulous. And the very last favorite that I want to talk about, and I just kind of like discovered this right at the end of the month as I... It's more the beginning of October, but I'm going to count this for the month of September. Don't judge me. Uh, I got this several months ago in my Ipsy bag, and glosses aren't really my thing, but now that I have, like, pastel purple hair, I love pairing it up with a pastel pink uh, lip. So this is the company... 
I guess it's called Cargo Cosmetics, and this is in shade Anjulia. I don't know if I'm pronouncing this right, but it literally makes my lips look pastel pink, and it just looks really sharp with my pastel purple hair. I have lipstick on, so I don't want to, like, take that off to show you, but I'll do a swatch here. It's just like a very pale, pale, pale pink. But yeah, I think it's a really good combo, the lip and the hair, all being pastel. I've been putting some flowers in my hair too. Oh, I don't know. But yes, that about covers everything that I wanted to talk about in this month's favorites video. And as I said earlier, what are some of your favorites from this past month? Let me know in the comments. And yeah, until next time, like, subscribe, share, invite your friends, follow me over on Instagram, and I'll see you in my next video. Have a good day, guys.